Well, normally they, they say your bowlers win your competitions and, and batters win your games, but um, you sort of have to puzzle everything together to, to win a World Cup, I would think. So, um, f yeah, the first thing that came to mind was obviously our bowlers are going to be tested. Like, like you mentioned, guys are, are coming hard now with the bat and um, I think if your, your bowlers have their, their skills and plans in place, you, you can almost get one step ahead of the rest. Uh, vaguely, um, yeah, obviously. I definitely think we have what it takes. Um, it's it's a World Cup. It's a really high level of cricket and. Um, I think this group has now been together for quite a few years and we've shown um, through many performances in the past few years that we're able to, to beat the best in the world. So um, I'm quietly confident that this team has what it takes to, to win the World Cup and um, I think once we're able to, to get that first elusive one, uh, I think potentially quite a few could, could follow after that. I think, yeah, naturally the responsibilities, the, the off-field um, responsibilities that you have as a captain at ICC events generally are a little bit more hectic and, and, and more busy. So I suppose just managing that, but um, we've got a great team in place here to, to make my life a lot easier in that regard and um, allows me to focus on the cricket side of things. But um, managing energies into the sort of right areas um, that will ideally allow the team to do really well um, but it's not too much different for a captain I don't think uh, your main focus is to, to keep the team in a, a really positive and good space and um, ideally help everyone believe that they backed which which obviously we, we've proved to the team now so um, a, a challenge as always but uh, a challenge like I've mentioned before that I, I really enjoy doing. Thanks Stu. Hi. I do enjoy it, yes. Um, naturally, it's including more teams, obviously, but also uh, it, it gives you a great opportunity to still progress in the competition if you if you lose potentially one game. I think of 2021 World Cup, I think it was in Dubai and Abu Dhabi where we won four out of five and, and still weren't really able to qualify. So um, when, you, when you have uh, sort of different stages of the competition, I think you... You block them off and, and you, you try to sort of tick each challenge and, and phase as you move um, and then ideally see, see where it gets you in the competition. Thanks, Um, sort of on field and, and from a planning point of view, not a lot changes. Uh, we, we always keep a lot of focus on ourselves as a team, um, obviously still respecting the opposition, but um, we, we've had a few pressure games that potentially, especially at a World Cup where we haven't got over the line uh, in, in the past year or two, so um, we've tried to simulate it as best as we can. Um, 
from a preparation point of view and ideally when we get there and hopefully we, we can we can get it right this time but we've all been playing now a lot of cricket um, some guys have been playing different leagues different competitions uh, series deciders where there is extra pressure and um, we're hoping that we can we can draw from that experience and, and that can help us if we if we get to that stage Um, to be honest, Telford, I don't take too much from it. Um, I see it as, as a completely different level of cricket. Obviously, it was a really long time ago. There is obviously a small element of belief and confidence you could potentially take from it. But um, for me, it's, it's, it's this. if we win this World Cup, for me, that will be the first World Cup that we win. Um, so it's not to disregard what we did at under-19 level at all. Um, it was a massive achievement for us and, and one that we are still incredibly proud of. But um, I think this one would, would certainly mean a hell of a lot more. Thanks, Telford. Uh, Nathan, just want to check if that's a new hand or an old hand. Uh, yes, please, please, please. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, thank you very much again. Um, Hayden, have you guys had two training sessions, an internal match and the last full training session on Monday? Can you talk about the conditions there? What the old days and unknown factor which is the pitch? Can you briefly give us your thoughts on the year's surface um, so far? Yeah, we, we only joined yesterday, so it's a, it's a bit of a tough one to answer now. But um, if I looked at, at how we, we sort of operated in, in our internal match yesterday, it still looked pretty good for batting. Um, I don't think the wickets will be as quick as, as they are potentially at home and, and maybe in a place like Australia. But that's just the feeling that I, I got. Um, yesterday watching that game so um, we're gonna have to really pick up as much info as we can along the way um, watch warm-up games that might be being played there in New York where we're playing three of our games and um, take as much information from that be before the game as we can so um, it's still a, a tricky one to, to answer but we, we certainly need to assess and uh, adapt probably a lot quicker than, than we used to in, in conditions that we, we don't know. Thanks. We're going to go high and send for those. Hey, just sort of on preparation and um, also just um, talking about how cricket has changed and stuff, there's been a lot of talk about how you guys are scattered as a squad, you know, and basically all you guys only came together yesterday and stuff. Uh, but uh, the point has been made before that um, one shouldn't perhaps be too perturbed or worried about um, game time and, and even rhythm, you know, as a team because everybody has been playing their fair amount of cricket. So, uh, as a guy who was at the IPL, do you also feel like uh, like question marks over, you know, actually rhythm and being together and having a build up is perhaps a bit, you know, over emphasized actually, particularly in this new world order of cricket? I think that that way of, of potentially doing things how, how it used to be in terms of doing a proper build-up as a squad might um, get a, a bit more challenging moving forward. I, I agree with that. Um, for us, we want to be together as much as we can before any series or any World Cup, but the, there are challenges with that. So um, you sort of uh, just go with, with what you get given time-wise and, and preparation-wise, but um, we are getting more used to doing things like that. I think guys are getting used to rocking up at tournaments, um, spending a couple of days training and then getting straight into the competition and sort of it being in drips and drabs. But um, we'd obviously love to spend more time together from a preparation and build-up point of view. But um, having said that, uh, there's obvious reasons why that can become a bit of a challenge. Thanks, Heinz. For those, then Kim. Probably just um, it's your, your typical on-field challenges and, and lessons that you learn at an IPL. Um, guys that do really well, I think of, of Classy and Stubbsy, 
taking a lot of confidence from the IPL into the World Cup and um, guys that potentially didn't have the IPL they would have wanted would have, will, will be able to take a lot of lessons. So um, probably those two things, obviously from a conditions point of view, it, I see it being um, quite different to IPL. So, so you can't take too much from, from that point of view, but um, confidence lessons and, and probably having trying to gain as much clarity as you can going into the World Cup through match time that you, you played in IPL or, or whichever series building up to the World Cup, I think can help us. Thanks, Bruce. Johan? I mean, were you going to be on Saturday at the match between India and Bangladesh in New York? I know that, that Rob's going to go, Coach Rob's going to go. Um, it'll probably be an optional thing. I think it, the schedule's so busy. Um, we're going to need to be training on, on Monday somehow as well. So uh, it'll probably be an optional thing, but with the guys are there at the, at the venue, we're we'll probably just watching it back at the hotel to, like I mentioned earlier, gain as much information and knowledge as we can about conditions. Um, I'm sure everyone's going to have their eyes on that game either way. Thanks, Johan. We're going to go Percy, then look to wrap with Ken. Thank you, Rob. This is Carl from Cuba. Um, I just want to ask you, um, you just mentioned that some of you guys' senior players, well, yeah, some of the senior, senior, senior players joined the squad only yesterday. Do you guys, do you as a captain, do you carry any baggage of what happened in New Zealand, um, not New Zealand, in West Indies now these past three T20 matches, or do you guys simply ignore, know what happened now in, in, in that three, um, match series against West Indies? Yeah, certainly no no baggage from a series like that. Um, also, definitely not ignoring it. Uh, it was a completely different squad, um, a young squad coming through where it, it's fantastic for them to get that experience in international cricket. So um, they'll be able to take a lot of lessons from that. But for for us as a squad here, yeah, um, quite a lot of different faces to to that squad that was West, in West Indies, and um, we we sort of seeing us starting afresh when, when we get to that first game. Thanks, Percy. And then over to you, Ken, for the last question. Uh, Ken, uh, you're not, um, you haven't unmuted yourself. There we go. <laughs> Me or Percy? Uh, no, 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 Percy uh, has just asked his question. It's over to you. <laughs> I do think it's different at World Cup level. Um, I don't, don't want to say it's very different, but there, there is a, a, a definite difference in, in how guys are potentially going to play. I still think guys are going to take it on and, and be aggressive from a batting point of view, but obviously one less batter through that impact player rule at, at, in your World Cup team, so almost back to your normal 11 aside cricket, and uh, I think that, that does make a bit of a difference. Um, obviously going to allow for situations to be played and um, sort of calculating moves and, and attacks on certain bowlers, potentially not everyone, because you don't have that luxury of extra batter. So um, there'll be a difference, I feel, Ken, yes, but um, I think the way the game is moving as well, you, you can't expect it to be a really big difference.